Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at uh, a new acquisition of mine, and this is the Custom Knife Factory collaboration with Anton Malashev. And uh, anyhow, let's jump into it. So Custom Knife Factory is a company out of Russia, um, and they produce what they call mid-text. They're well known for the Decepticon. Uh, Jim Skelton just did a video on one of their knives, and it's actually by the same maker, um, just a different model. So here's how the knife comes. Uh, let's see, it says knives from best Russian designers. Just a nice little pouch, felt lined, certificate of authenticity, a little gold terry cloth there. So that's how the knife ships. Now, they recently picked up a U.S. distributor, and that's Knife Center, um, and that's really good news because that means that you save about 60 bucks on shipping um, because that's what it costs to ship it expedited from Russia. So just took a huge 60 buck price cut, and uh, yeah, I thought, why not? Let's check it out. So specs-wise, let's take a look at it. The blade length is... Uh, and these are specs from the manufacturer, uh, 4.5 inches. Cutting edge is about 4.3 inches, they state. Um, it does utilize S35VN, it's right here, S35VN blade steel. Uh, thickness is 0.135 inches. The overall length is a whopping 9.6 inches. And then the handle length is about 5.4 inches or so. You have carbon fiber on the front, you have a titanium lock side, weighs in on my scale at 5.9 ounces, um, and they stayed at 5.8 ounces. Um, not a huge difference. Um, my scale could be wrong. It doesn't matter. And these are made in Moscow, Russia. Um, now, this also uses a double row bearing system, which is pretty sweet. Um, the you know the Shergorovs are well known for their multi bearing system as well. So overall. Um, I'm going to give you guys my overall impressions before I break down and get into the various parts, but um, it's actually very, very good. Um, this is a really well-made knife. They state it's a mid-tech. Um, honestly, I'm a bit disenchanted at this point with the whole mid-tech genre. Um, I mean, basically, it's a manu It's supposed to designate a manufacturing process, not a quality process or, you know, an overall quality of the knife, but, you know, I've been guilty of that. So, um, you know, to me, it's a production knife. Um, Again, a collaboration between Anton Malashev and Custom Knife Factory, and it's it's really well made. I mean, I'd put it on par with Zero Tolerance, with the Taichung Spydercos, with Realte Knives, and with Line Steel. Um, action's really smooth, falls on its own weight. When I got it, the action was a teeny bit gritty, but um, just in the last couple hours, it's already smoothed out a bit. Um, so basically, if, if you've been looking for, you know, uh, another ZT in the four plus inch range, um, you know, this is the knife for you. And they're only making 200 of this particular one. So, you know, it's it's limited just like the ZT uh, limited edition. So anyhow. All right. So, uh, you know, retails for about 350 right now. Again, you don't have to pay the 60 bucks shipping from Russia. So, you know, if this interests you in this size factor, um, then go for it. Uh, they're probably going to sell out um, fairly soon. So, yeah, really happy with it. Um, no qualms about the price, glad I bought it. So that's my, my overall impressions of the knife. Now let's break it down, get into the nitty gritty. Um, let's start off with the blade. So the blade shape, it's this interesting kind of drop point with a hump, um, you know, quite similar to my Riate Hills. Well, I'm talking about it, you know, kind of a similar blade shape actually, but uh, obviously we have a, a large size difference between the two there. But uh, anyways, it's a nice stonewash finish. The grind lines are nice and clean on this particular one. Um, feels nice. The, uh, the sharpened edge is even on both sides. Um, the blade's really well executed, slices through paper, just uh, really great. Um, and it has a nice uh, thin edge behind, or a nice thin profile behind the edge. So it slices really well. Sorry for my oils there. Um, let's see here, uh, markings on the blade are quite uh, minimal. You just have the custom knife factory, the C and then the K and the F in the middle, and then the uh, S35 designation. Those are the only markings on the blade. So, um, you know, that's nice because, you know, they don't put their country of origin, the model, the serial number, all those things. Um, you know, if you know what the knife is, you're in the know and you know, I mean, 
You know, it's not like the people who see one of these go through and look at all the markings and figure out where they can buy one. So, you know, it's unnecessary, and, and I think that's what they went with on this one. You do have a carbon fiber handle on this side and titanium on this side. The carbon fiber is has a nice 3D machining. As you can see, it kind of slopes down here. You've got a double finger groove. Um, then it's nicely chamfered on the edges back here, here, all the way around. So ergonomics are really good. Fits. Let me try to get the whole thing in frame here. Fits really well in the hand um, in the various positions. Very comfortable. Um, again, it's just a large handle, so whether you're all the way up on the knife or you, you know, go back a couple inches and you're on the back end of the knife, uh, it's comfortable in all of those positions. So the the weight, even though it's uh, 5.8 or 5.9 ounces, when you have this thing open, um, you know, the full 9.6 inches of it, the weight feels really, really well balanced. It feels feels much, much lighter in hand when you have it opened. It feels like a, you know, four ounce knife. You know, if you've got it closed and you're gripping it from the back here and kind of shaking it, yeah, it feels like 5.8 ounces. So hopefully that makes sense. It's just, you just have a lot of area here. So it's really well balanced in the hand. I really like that. The titanium, um, you can see some of the 3D machining marks here. These nice uh, horizontal, grooves here. I'm sorry, the, these nice diagonal grooves here. Um, I wish they would have made them a little bit deeper. I really like kind of the machining marks left here. You can see it on the on the back here a little bit better. I really like these machining marks. Um, I think it gives it a nice uh, stylistic look. Um, helps hide scratches a little bit better. It gives it, if they were deeper, it would give it a little bit more traction too. So um, I'd love to see them go just a little bit deeper on those, make them a little bit more prominent. Um, the ZT04, 560 carbon fiber had um, some nice kind of deep track marks and I really thought that was an attractive feature on it so the this side is obviously 3d machined as well um, not to the same extent as the carbon fiber side the carbon fiber side has gotten a little bit more machining as far as um, making it comfortable in the hand and so forth um, especially back here where it kind of slopes a little bit more but this side's been 3d machined as well again it's very comfortable in the hand um, they even finished the lock bar cutout nicely as well, so that was well done. Um, it does use a double row bearing system, so it flips really, really well. I mean, this is a you know 4.5 inch blade, and uh, you can light switch it. You can uh, do the press down method. Flips really well either way. Um, and it's incredibly smooth. So the double row bearing system is really cool. Again, it's just something for the knife nerds to get excited about, um, you know, more is better type of approach. So it does have a satined uh, Torx pivot here, both sides, they match. Uh, and then you have just the Torx screws in the handle. You do have a smaller lanyard hole here, um, you know, probably gutted 550 or something and go through. I don't use lanyards. Um, and in a knife this big, I don't know that you really need it. So um, let's see here, what else do we have? Lock up. We do have a stainless steel lock insert. Not sure if you're gonna be able to see that. Let me grab a flashlight real quick. Okay, so down here, ah, I don't think this is gonna work. Anyways, take my word for it, there's a stainless steel lock bar insert in there, which, again, gives it, uh, you know, helps to have no stick whatsoever, locks up really solid. It's about 40%. This thing's nice and tight, you know, no qualms. Again, it's, you know, just like any ZT um, or any other really high uh, production company does with their stainless steel lock inserts. So, let's see here. Um... There's lock bar relief cutout here on both sides, as you can see. So you can get your thumb in there pretty well. This side is a tiny bit sharp, but uh, it's not bad. So you can disengage it, no problem, um, even if you've got bigger hands. So that's nicely done as well. Um, gosh, the only thing that I would like to see improved, you know, at 4.5 inches, um, you know, this this could serve as a tactical knife for a lot of people, you know, quite well. Again, it's such a really great ergonomics, great size. It would benefit from some jimping up here at the top. I would have liked to see some jimping added here. And then the flipper tab would have also benefited from some jimping too. I've slipped on it a few times. It's not 
not tragic by any means, but you know, it could it could be better. Those are the things that I think could have made the knife just 100% perfect. So, um, other than that, again, I think it's a really well designed knife. Um, I like I like the design language. I like the look and the feel of this uh, this Elf knife by Anton. Um, you know, and I, I like what Custom Knife Factory is doing, and I like the fact that there's a U.S. distributor now. So, again, there's only going to be 200 of these made. Um, and it is, you know, quite comparable to a, a zero tolerance limited edition. Um, Custom Knife Factory is very much on my radar at this point. And, you know, as long as they continue to put out interesting designs in, in kind of the sub $400 range, um, I'll certainly be very interested uh, in, in more of their knives in the future. So, anyways, if you're interested in this knife, uh, grab one before they're gone. Really cool, really big knife. I did grab another one here. It's quite comparable. Here we have the ZT600. And these two, um, size-wise, they're actually fairly close. Hopefully I can give you guys a decent image. The uh, the Elf here just barely edges out the ZT600. Um, but on my scale, the weight on this one was, f what did I say? It was 5.9 ounces, and on my scale, this was 7.25 ounces. And um, that's because you do have titanium on both sides. They edge each other out in different ways. Ergonomics are a bit better on the Elf. The ZT600 does have jimping up here on the spine, which I like. It also has a, a more rounded lock bar relief here, so it's uh, nicer to disengage on the thumb. Um, lighter weight, better ergos. Uh, this has got a carbon fiber insert, so that's a, a little bit of a nice touch. It's got some you know, 3D machining here. Um, S35VN versus the B70, what is this, yeah, B75P, so, you know, just slight differences. Um, initially, they were both in essentially the same price range, but, uh, you know, now that this one's sold out, it's obviously uh, goes for a little bit more, so. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully, I have answered all of your questions about the knife, and if you have any more, feel free to leave them below. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, I appreciate your continued support, and I will see you guys soon. Take care.